Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can label a diagram or an image or picture in Word. So firstly we need to insert our diagram. So I'm going to go up to the insert tab here, go to picture, click on the drop down and select picture from file. Select your image and then click insert. So what I'm going to do is show you just how to label this skeleton here. So I'm going to crop this image. So just select it, go to picture format, go to crop. And I'm just going to use this black marker to drag inwards just to deselect this side and just select this part. Then I'm just going to press enter and then I'm going to want to move this image. But at the moment I can't. If I try and pull it, you can see it springs back. So what I need to do is to select it, go to picture format, go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. Now I'll be able to move it anywhere in my document and then I can simply resize it. So now we have our image inserted, we can go ahead and make some labels. So go to insert, go to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Just click and draw out a text box. Then we can just insert our word. Now you can label this any way you like. You can then select the text. You can go to the home tab and you can use any of these options here to change the font. Let's choose this one here. You can change it to bold if you like. And you can also use the font size tool or just this up and down font size tools here. So we can take this up to 14, but you can also change the font color if you want to. And then finally, we can use these alignment tools here to decide where you want your text in your text box. So I'm going to select center and then I can reduce the size of my text box to house my word. So you can have it as big or as small as you want. It's completely up to you. But when I deselect it, you can see we've got this black trim around the outside of the box. Now you can make several adjustments to this. If I select it, if I go to shape format, I can use these tools here to adjust the outline colors and thickness and the color inside. So if I go to this tool here, you can see it's the outline. I can take the outline off if I don't want it, but I can also change the color. So if there's a color theme to your image, let's say it's blue, we can select this blue here. Then we can go back up and we can go to weight and we can actually change the thickness of that label surround. So I'm going to select this one here, deselect and you can see the result of what I've done. Additionally, you can go to shape fill and once again, you can select from any color choice here. Let's select this gold color, deselect. And once again, you can see how that will affect your label. Now that's not necessarily for me for this particular diagram. I'm going to stick with all of the black and white. So I'm just going to undo those two actions by pressing the command and the Z key on my keyboard. Okay, so if I'm happy with the thickness of that, now I'm just going to put in my arrow. So go to insert, go to shapes, click on the drop down, and go down to lines and you'll see this arrow here. You can use these arrows here but they're not quite as neat and these arrows tend to match the box that we've made. So select the arrow, you can see my cursor has changed to a cross. Click on the corner of your box and then just drag out this arrow to where you want it to point to. Now as I move the arrow around you can see it jumps but if you want to smooth out that action as you're dragging just hold down your alt or option key and you can see that action will now become smooth and you can literally place it anywhere you like. Now you can find that your default color of this arrow is not black. So if you want to change it, again, select it. You can go up to this element here. I'm just gonna select black. You can also change the thickness of it. If you select this down arrow, you can see you've got several options here. Alternatively, you have all of these presets as well. So if you want to change the color or you can use a dotted line, it's completely up to you. They're all just here as a quick access tool. So once you're finally happy with your label 
and you want all of your labels to look like this, what we can do is to group them together. So select the box, hold down your command or control key on your keyboard, click and select the arrow. You can see it's selected with these green balls at each end. Go up to shape format, go over to group, click on the drop down and select group. As a result, these two now are one element. And what we can do with that is we can simply copy and paste. Now for me, there's two really quick ways to do this. Select it, Command or Control C, deselect it, Control or Command V, or the quickest way for me is to select it, hold down your Alt or Option key on the keyboard, click and drag. And it really is as simple as that. So let's just zoom out a little bit. And now I'm just going to select this one and copy this one because I'm going to have four labels down the right hand side and then two labels on the left hand side and I'll show you how to adjust these. So now to make the adjustment, so just scroll in, you have to select it and go up to shape format, go to group, select the drop down and select ungroup. Now you can select your text type in your next text or label you can see it doesn't quite fit the space so just use the little boxes on the outside and move that over until it exposes the entire word then whilst that's selected hold down the command or control key and select the arrow again go to group and select group and then all we need to do is to move this down again hold down the alt key to smooth out that action and then you can precisely put this exactly where you want it. So I'm just going to go ahead and ungroup this one. I'll speed up the video until I come to the labels on the other side of this diagram and I'll show you how to adjust them. Okay, so on the other side, we'll just do exactly the same, just ungroup it, change the name in the box, and then with the arrow, we just select the arrow, click on this ball at the end here, then move it around to its desired location. Again, holding down that Alt key. Grab the other end here, and again, move that to the corner here. Then just group them together. Go to Group, and select Group. And there we have that label up there. And then we can finally speed up the video and do this side here. Okay, so once you're happy with your diagram and everything's exactly where you want it, we can actually export this as a photograph or a PNG file, which means there's no background and you can use this for other projects. The way in which to do that as a PNG file where there's no background, you haven't got the white background, is you need to select everything first. So select anything, doesn't matter, select something and go to this selection pane here. Then click on the top, Press Command or Control A to select everything. You see everything's been selected. Go to Group and select Group. Now this is all one group. You can right click on it. Go down to Save as Picture. Make sure at the bottom here it's a PNG file, which again means there's no background. Name your picture and click Save. Alternatively, the very quick version of saving this where you have the white background is to simply take a screenshot. And for me, that's command shift number four. And then I can just click across my image and take a screenshot. So those are the two ways that you can create images from this. Alternatively, you can simply save it as a PDF file or as a Word document. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.